Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for all the information you need about readings, uh, personal readings, decks I'm using, tons of information there with a lot of links, so please do go check that out. And before we get started, thank you so much for um, all those who have subscribed. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have tipped or donated as an energy exchange to the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for your support and your generosity. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, second half of August. I love connection reading. Let's see what we get. I hope everybody's doing well. One more month of summer. One more month. Okay, if you're going, if you're in summer right now, where, depending on where you live, um, one more month. Okay, Scorpio. This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, planet, energy. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with this part, that is totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus, but the rest of the reading may be for you. And if you clicked on the title, then there's probably something that drew you to this reading. So there's probably a message in here somewhere for you. All right, Scorpio, second half of August. What do we have for Scorpio spirit, please? Can we have one card for Scorpio? What kind of energy is around them? Oh, Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. So water and earth. Or if not, uh, maybe they have Virgo in their chart. Maybe you have it in your chart. Um, or Virgo is the hermit in um, tarot. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody. Um, is your relationship in hermit mode? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody in hermit mode in this connection? I don't know. We shall see. Virgo, number six. You know, that's a very healing, balancing, peaceful number. Scorpio's number eight. That's about action and movement. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, with this deck here, all the decks are listed below, and they have been pre-shuffle, cut, meditated on off-camera. So, a little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. Okay, Scorpio, let's get an overall love energy for you. That's too many. Just one card for an overall love energy to begin with for Scorpio. Just one card. What is the overall love energy like for Scorpio? The second half of August, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I just have one card. One card for Scorpio, please. Oh, I keep giving me two. Just want one. One, please. Hey. All right. I'm just going to take one if you don't give me one. One card for Scorpio. All right. Let's see what we have. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a, we all have a fundamental need to take breaks. Wow. And I had just said that wow <laughs> and 42 is six and virgo is six which is hermit in the major arcana and i said is there a break during this time and we have rest relaxation and a need to take breaks so maybe there's something here in your connection where you're on a break right now for some reason wow so spirit confirming that wow okay so let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Let's get one card. One card for you and how you are feeling about this connection, feeling about this person. Can we have one card for Scorpio? How are they feeling about this person and this connection the second half of August? And we have receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. We have 34 now, which is the number seven. Seven is a very um, spiritual, divinely guided number. So I think if you're on a break, you're ready to, if you've been on a break, I think now you're at the point where you're ready to receive this person with love and appreciation back into your life. All right. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how your person is feeling. 
in this connection and towards you. True love. And I did see that flip out as I was shuffling. True love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. And we have 30, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So they, they know this is true love and they want to work on this. And you're ready for them to come forward and receive them with love and appreciation as you work on things and come back together after maybe a period of um, going off on your own and thinking about things here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. And we have 25 again, which seven. Very spiritual, divinely divine spiritual energy here romance so there definitely is love and romance in this connection what's under that so yep wow okay scorpio all right so let's see what's going on let's get some clarity with the tarot let's get some clarity so i feeling if they're not a virgo i'm just feeling the energy of the hermit energy which is virgo and that could be, you know, going on a break from one another and going your, uh, I don't want to say separate ways, but going just, you know, spending time alone, each of you, to either think about this connection or whatever happened between the two of you, really, like, going your, going on your own for a while and taking a break to rest, recuperate, heal, uh, really think about things, you know, where you want this connection to go. Okay. So, let's get some ooh, clarity. It's way too many. Clarity for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify how you are feeling. Oh, the lover's in reverse. Let me show my cards on upside down. Okay. <sighs> so, this is Gemini energy. You know, upright, this talks about, you know, the lovers here coming together as one. It could be that you've made... The lovers is about making a choice also and about two people coming together, soulmates, a soulmate union, you know, choosing one another. You know, you, you know this is your lover. They know you are their lover, soulmate. But in reverse, I don't know, this could either mean maybe you're deciding not to come back into union with this person or if you were making a decision here while you were in hermit mode, you've made the decision here that they are your one and only. I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this plays out. Or you're still reluctant about making this choice here about this person. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I see, you know, you want to receive it. It's receive them with love and appreciation. So I'm, I'm feeling like if you have had choices here between lovers, you're deciding on one lover now, and it's them. Okay, so let's see, let's see. How is your person feeling? How is your person feeling about you and this connection? Can we have one card, please? How is your person feeling about you, Scorpio, in this connection? Let's clarify spirit, please, with one card, one card for Scorpio's person. Okay, there we go. I was, <laughs> cards are excited, they wanna talk. Okay, let's see what they have now. The Nine of Cups, okay, water energy. So there could be a water sign. You could have Gemini in your chart. Um, they could be can um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this is, you know, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, joy and happiness fulfillment. So I do see here, you know, they do see you as true love. I see they want to choose you. Look how similar these images are. You are their wish fulfillment. Or they, yeah, you are their wish fulfillment. Dream come true here. And nine can speak of a solo energy. So if they, you know, if, again with the hermit going in your own separate directions for a while, I see here they do want to choose you. They know you're their wish fulfillment dream come true. They want that happiness and joy with you because it is true love and they want, want to work on it with you. So I don't know, you know, you could either decide uh, no, but I think with this receive with love and um, appreciation, 
that you're making that choice now on just them and wanting to receive them. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is here, Scorpio. The Prince of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So, I mean, they could be Virgo. We got two uh, Pentacle here, two Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Swords in the middle, our ear. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So connecting in the situation here, actual situation is you with the Prince of Pentacles. So this is a very slow movement action, Prince. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So it's a very slow moving energy, but it's sure stable and grounded. Wanting to uh, take action for long term, build very slowly. Um, so I think you're, you've made a conscious decision here to choose them, but you want to take it very, very slow, build very slowly, taking very slow action towards them here. And then connecting to them is the Queen of Pentacles. So they're somebody who's very sure. They are very sure. They know what they want. They're very stable and grounded also. Uh, Clear-minded, trustworthy. They... Um, can build and grow there's prosperity growth expansion so they know they want this with you because they see you they know what true and truth and clarity you are their wish fulfillment and they know it's true love and they want to um be in this queen of pentacles energy with you also very slow moving energy here but a sure stable ground in long term and then connecting to the two of you is the nine of swords so I think you're both having stress and anxiety, worry, nervousness about this connection, worry, you know, where's it going to go from here? You know, if you're separated for a while, are we going to come back together or is this the end? Am I going to lose them? Am I going to get them back? Um, but the swords are also about communication, thoughts. Um, so yeah, I think the energy though between the two of you, you both want long term, you both want sure, stable and grounded very slow energy building very slowly for long term but you have stress anxiety right now over this connection so let's see what um your advice is scorpio wow <laughs> pentacle earth energy again and earth wow so they definitely could be an earth sign here virgo taurus capricorn so this is you know again with the three and they had 30 for true love which is three about working together so this is telling you here, and this is putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work, you know, building very slowly for that firm, solid foundation and building it up to a tower that'll last lifetimes. So yeah, so working together with this person, putting in the dedicated effort, putting in the hard work, teamwork, the three pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, um, and that sort of energy. So your advice is to, you know, work with them. Compromise, teamwork, collaboration, uh, working together to build this relationship into a more solid form for long-term. Long-term energy here could be a life partner here. So what is the outcome for you? Well, there you go, the Ace of Cups. That's your energy. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Brand new beginning in love. Emotional fulfillment, overflowing, love overflowing, divinely guided energy here, handed down from the, the heavens. And you see all the stars here as we had um, the Nine of Cups, which is about wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. So here's the wish fulfillment of this brand new beginning in love that is divinely guided from the heavens, the stars. Wow soulmate energy here for sure so let's get more clarification the empress so there's the um libra it's libra and taurus but it doesn't have to be so it, i feel this is very earth energy but it doesn't have to be either but you know the growth of something new the birth of something new it's very sure steady stable grounded uh new beginnings you, you know, there could be commitment, marriage, children here, a lot of stability, truth, clarity, passion. It's all here with the Empress energy. 
knowing your worth and value, the two of you in this connection. Wow. Let's see what else? Eight of Swords. So I feel right now, you know, there might have been some uh, mental blockages trapped in your own mind as you were separated from this person, from each other, having that mental confusion and blockage. You know, what's going to happen next? Where is this going to go? Is this the end? Are we going to come back together? But you can easily walk out of this um, mental entrapment by communicating to each other. The star, again, with the nine of cups here. Very healing, balanced, peaceful energy, dreams and wishes coming true, divinely guided with the star. Divinely guided soulmate energy here. Divinely guided. Wow. Hopes, dreams, faith, optimism, all coming true, healing, peace, balance, enlightenment, all divinely guided here with the star energy. Wow, Scorpio. Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. So, you know, while you were separated here, you might have been keeping tabs on one another online and maybe the other person didn't know that, checking out their social media. Uh, but this is also the truth, the sword of truth and clarity. And you see the sun behind there, which is about um, total happiness and joy also in new beginnings. So I do feel like, you know, honest communication here is needed between the two of you. And, uh, you know, stop this energy of just like watching each other. It's time to speak up, speak the truth, and communicate what you both want moving forward. So now we have the Princess of Pentacles. So again, two messenger communication cards here. Truth, clarity, and stability, foundation, um, stable, sturdy, grounded communication, very tangible offer here, long-term, building long-term, communicating that. So stability and growth, expansion, foundation, the truth and clarity is needed in this connection. Yeah, Seven of Cups. I just feel like, you know, right now there's a lot of confusion, um, running things over and over in your mind, your imagination, imagining things that aren't really there, but imagining what could be. And just having a lot of confusion while you're apart so and now we do have death Scorpio that's your card so I think you just need to end this time apart and transform this relationship into this soulmate union that's what I'm getting with that I think there's a need here to end the separation and come back together and transform this relationship. So let's see what's on the bottom, bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. And every time I see this too, and I've heard other readers say when you get the Ace of Swords in a reading, that is the truth of the matter. So that definitely could be the truth of the matter here. This is a brand new beginning again with truth, clarity, open, honest communication cutting away energies that are no longer serving this communication, standing up for it, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS anymore, either from them or people around you or whatever the situation, divinely guided, sword of victory here, brand new beginning. So you have love and you have truth, clarity, open, honest communication. Wow. Air energy here, uh, Gemini Virgo. Yeah, Gemini Virgo. Where's that coming from? <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So now we have another messenger. We have the Princess of Swords, the Princess of Pentacles. Now we have the Princess of Wands. So again, this is messages of passion, uh, excitement, um, new endeavors, new uh, projects or whatever here, but still love reading. So passionate communication back and forth between the two of you as you reconnect I feel fire energy here Leo Sag Aries and the Wheel of Fortune Sagittarius so moving divinely guided energy here moving in the right direction once you've come back together you communicate have that open honest discussion about working together very slowly the wheel will start to turn here this is the wheel of fate and destiny timing better timing things going in a better direction 
Queen of Wands. So very passionate energy here. Go-getter, very driven, uh, goes after what they want with a lot of drive, ambition, energy, kind of energy. So it could be um, you embodying this energy. Maybe you're going to make the first moves here. But there's the Six of Wands, fire energy again. So going in uh, victory here. Victory, success in this connection. Yep. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So yeah, that's, you know, speaking in truth and honesty. Um, again, with the sword there, cutting away things no longer serving you in this connection, standing up for it, um, not taking any BS. Sword of Truth and Clarity. And the High Priestess, you know that you know about this connection, but maybe you're not listening to your intuition or you need to, or maybe you are, but again, no communication. High Priestess doesn't communicate even though they know a lot. So, you know, I do feel like there's no communication right now. But Six of Cups, this could be a past life connection. Water energy here. Or perhaps somebody you've known since your childhood. Yep, so I feel like communication, honesty here uh, is needed. About building slowly, working together very slowly, long term. Soulmate energy. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you. Guidance, messages going forward for Scorpio. Second half of August. What do we have with Scorpio? Wow. All right, we got two. Wow. So we have the five and six of wands. Wow. So, yep, challenging times. It's both fire energy. So there might have been some conflict between the two of you, and this is why there was a separation. It's a challenging time. But now, if you believe, succeed, victory, success, um, going, you know, having that success and victory. And we have the Six of Wands, what, down over here somewhere? There it is. So the Six of Wands twice now. So this can be a very successful connection here. Six, Peace of Balance. And I think you will overcome this conflict and whatever caused your separation here, you know, the, these challenging times will be overcome with truth, communication, passion, love, and being very successful. So here's the sun energy. So just took from the top of the deck, Leo energy now. So happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, enlightenment, happy home and family, children, um, everything positive with the sun card, success and victory. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Find balance. So this is the two of uh, pentacles. So yeah, there needs to be balance in this relationship. Uh, needing to find the balance, putting in the work, communication, and finding that balance within this coming together and finding that balance. 15 is master. And I believe uh, 15, is that the devil? I'm not quite sure. Let me just look that up quickly. Um, yeah, that's the devil. So yeah, finding balance. If there was some toxicity in this relationship here with devil energy, or it's just a very strong connection, you're bound together forever because you're soulmates, twin flames, whatever here, or whatever toxic energy there was between you, uh, overcoming that, you know, with the sun energy, overcomes the devil energy, succeeding, the challenging times, and finding balance in this connection. Yep. Okay, Scorpio. So I do find, you know, do see finding balance with clear, open communication, love, stability, clarity, and this connection, and long-term soulmate partner. Okay, Scorpio, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. If this didn't resonate for you, you can check uh, previous playlists in the description box below. Even though they're dated, I do consider them all timeless. Maybe something there will resonate for you. So please feel free to go check that out. Wishing you the best of luck in this situation. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, 
to always always shine your light.